Welcome back. This time I will show you how to make a very simple and useful device for any maker which starts working with metal. A ring roller, also known as a roller bender. Stay tuned. The main roller structure will be made from this 40 by 40 mm square steel tube with 3 mm sidewall. Measured and cut pieces with 145 and 180 mm length. Now it is time for a bit of measuring, marking and drilling some holes. First I found the middle of the tube and then marked three places for vertical holes. Those three will be drilled on both steel tube pieces identically. Also, all holes will be drilled all the way through. Next, I flip the piece by 90 degrees and draw the line with 13.5 mm offset from the tube side. Here I marked a pair of places for horizontal holes. Later on, you will see why such an offset is necessary. In the local hardware store I bought this iWood screw. Not sure about the purpose it was made for, but I need just that round part which is exactly 12mm in diameter. Also I will use a piece of this M12 threaded rod, which I had from some previous projects. I don't like how the bottom part looks, so I marked and cut both sides in angle. Metal rods on both sides will be acting as sliders, while the middle one will be generating the pressing power. The best way to fix them permanently is to weld them. After the welding, I flatten the surface because this tool will be attachable to the workbench and must have a flat bottom. Press like and subscribe buttons if you like my content. Your support encourages me to keep working on new projects. For rollers, I'll use this kind of bearings. They are very cheap and are the perfect size for this project. 37 by 12 by 12 millimeters. And I will use 9 of them. Each roller will be formed from 3 bearings and attached to the M12 hex bolt and nut. Do you remember that 13.5 mm offset when I was marking the center for this hole? Here is the answer for such measurement. I no need to hold the nut with any tool, because the steel tube sidewall is doing it for me. With an upper roller the situation is a bit different. All bearings should be attached with a bolt, but at the same time I need to spin the outer bearing part with some kind of handle. So I need to fix the outer part in one piece and will have a place where I could mount a handle. And here is the solution. Old pistons from carburetor calipers. 
In my metal scrap box I found these three. They are round, they are closed on one side, and this one has almost 37 mm of inner diameter, which means I could press all three bearings inside nice and tight. Before pressing bearings in, I need to drill a few holes. One in the middle for the main bolt, which attaches bearings in place, and four holes on the perimeter to attach the handle. Those four holes also were tapped for M5 machine screws. All three bearings were pressed nicely with a vise. The handle will be made from this 5 by 40 mm steel flat bar. When all holes were drilled and the outer form was shaped, I need to make the final step to form a small offset that clears enough space for two bottom rollers. The upper roller was attached as the two in the bottom with an M12 hex bolt and nut. The handle will be held by four M5 machine screws. And lastly, the handle was finished with M12 hex bolt, a piece of PVC pipe and a pair of nuts. This roller bender could be attached to any flat workbench with a pair of clamps. More pressure you will apply with the nut, faster workpiece will bend. You could manage to bend just a bit to an arc or go all the way to the full circle. The design is minimalistic as possible. So if you need to bend bigger and thicker pieces, there is no problem to scale it up. Thanks for watching and till the next time. Bye.